Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we give you a piece of breaking news from People magazine. Meghan Markle allegedly urged Harry to get DNA test amid fears James Hewitt's his dad. Harry's paternity test shock, the secret tearing them apart. Meghan Markle has allegedly asked Prince Harry to get a DNA test after hearing an important detail from Princess Diana's Panorama interview. In 1995, Princess Diana allegedly told Martin Bashir that she's in love with the dashing James Hewitt. And before Markle wed Prince Harry, she was already aware of all the rumors surrounding his paternity. But after hearing what Princess Diana said in the interview, Markle wondered if it's possible for Prince Harry's dad to be Hewitt. After all, Princess Diana was madly in love with him. A source told Women's Day that Hewitt, Prince Charles, and Prince Harry have never gotten their DNA tested. But if they did and the results revealed that the Duke of Sussex is the son of Hewitt, this could allegedly solve all his problems. Now, Harry doesn't actually want to be a royal, but is still constricted by their rules. Finding out he isn't actually one of them could be a blessing in disguise. It would certainly make it easier for Meghan to explore her political aspirations. There is some basis of truth to the fact that she's interested in running for president one day, the source said. The insider also claimed that Prince Charles has his doubts about that he's the father of Prince Harry. After all, they don't have much in common. And after Prince Harry's birth, Prince Charles made a shocking comment about his son's appearance. He couldn't believe that the Duke of Sussex had red hair because it's not the same color of his locks. According to the source, even though Prince Charles's comment was supposed to be a joke, there's no denying that Prince Harry's appearance raised alarm bells for the heir to the throne. However, it's important to note that some of Princess Diana's relatives are redheads. When Princess Diana was still alive, she said that her affair with Hewitt started after Prince Harry was born. As such, there's no way for Hewitt to have been Prince Harry's father. However, royal author Christopher Anderson allegedly revealed that Princess Diana told him that her affair with Hewitt started after Prince William's birth. Meanwhile, now that Prince Harry is a father himself, Markle wants to know the truth about her husband's paternity. Meghan and Harry will also want to get an accurate picture of Harry's family medical history. And while Charles is as healthy as a horse, James had a heart attack and a stroke that was nearly fatal in 2017, the source said. Any guesses what she'll do if he's not Charlie's son? The shit's really going to hit the fan then. All her royal fantasies will go up in smoke. He'll be a commoner, just like her. And she gives the word commoner a whole new meaning. And now for a different angle, the secret tearing them apart. In its cover story, Woman's Day claims the Sussexes are hiding a secret that could threaten the entire royal family. The Duchess of Sussex recently watched a 25-year-old interview the BBC conducted with Princess Diana, where Diana admitted she was very much in love with dashing cavalry officer James Hewitt. Markle naturally concluded that this officer must be Prince Harry's father, so she's asked him to get a DNA test once and for all. Harry's paternity test shock. The split from the royal family hasn't been an easy one, and it could actually solve all their problems if James was Harry's real father. He wouldn't be royal anymore, and so Markle could, give, could live her life in peace. It's believed even Charles is not sure if Prince Harry is really his. Prince Harry had volunteered to get a DNA test once before, but the Queen forbade it. Now that he's free from her eye, he may just get that test, for Archie's sake. Just an anniversary cash-in. This story is simply trying to cash in on the 25th anniversary of the Princess Diana Panorama interview. It's not the only tabloid doing this, but that doesn't make it okay. In the interview, the Princess of Wales does admit to having an affair, but she says the relationship started in 1989. Prince Harry would have been five at that point. 
The officer himself denies this theory. Hewitt published a tell-all book about his affair with Princess Diana, so it's not as though he was averse to cashing in on the royals. He has consistently denied that he's Prince Harry's father, saying the affair started after the Duke of Sussex was born. Hewitt would stand to make a lot of money if he said the opposite, so between himself and Princess Diana, both denying this story. How would this make anything easier? Is Archie really going to be taunted about his father's patronage question? Kids are clever, but not that clever. Plus, learning your father isn't your biological father would devastate most people, so why would Markle want that for her husband? Neither she nor Prince Harry has ever publicly questioned his royal heritage. Recently, will Meghan Markle's privacy case be very damaging for her and Prince Harry? The outcome of Meghan's case against the MOS is almost irrelevant at this point. The judicial rulings against her in terms of what the scope of the case can be and for the MOS of what evidence they may rely on in their defense are painting a judicial perception of Meghan, which is unflattering and is reported as such in the media. Her reputation is damaged as each stage of the case passes. Most recently, she's in trouble for failing to submit evidence requested by the court on time, and so the Sussex's hole deepens. As indicated by the judge's decision to allow the introduction of evidence by the famous five, this is not an open and shut case, and crucial to the case going well for Meghan is that the court believes her to be truthful. Today, the Sussexes have admitted to lying to the public concerning events around Archie's birth to manipulate media coverage to their liking. What is the court to make of self-confessed liars and manipulators going forward? The MOS's barrister must have laughed out loud to see that confession spread all over the media. It's a total gift. But let's suppose a miracle happens and the court rules against the MOS. Coverage of the case has generated millions in revenue for the MOS, exposed the Sussex's private life, and undercut their credibility. They may win money from the MOS, but they have already lost everything else. Even if they win, they lose. Continuing on to another news from OK Magazine. Today, do you think that there's any possibility of Prince Harry and Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, ever being able to repair and restore the sweet brother-sister relationship they once had? Yes, but only when Meghan is no longer in the picture. She cannot hide anything about Catherine being loved by Harry in any way, shape, or form. This picture can incite Meghan's instability to handle the situation for what it is, brotherly and sisterly love. Meghan not only destroyed Harry's manhood, but she also destroyed the only bridge for Harry to the people who love and protect him all his life. The British royal family made him relevant and with the structure in the military. They made him functional and happy instead of the Harry we know now. Harry is always crippled with rage and anxiety due to the triggering that Meghan is subjecting him to. Camera flashes? And yet Meghan always drags Harry for photo ops. Is this selective trauma? It's not good for Harry to have continuous mental health challenges. He's already weak and compromised and unstable anyway. Harry is not the same. He always has that blank, stoned, lifeless stare all the time, and he always looks medicated on something. A total opposite of Meghan, who is thriving and loving every moment of her sudden fame, even if it is on the infamous side. That's not love, Meghan. It's called subjugation and control. You don't do that to a person you love. You let them breathe and thrive, not suppressed and controlled. Something's got to give sooner or later. No one deserves to live in constant fear. Harry is emotionally stunted and cannot stand up to Meghan. At the same time, he's also culpable for the disrespect that me again has shown to Queen Elizabeth II, his grandmother, and the firm. How about you? What do you think of Meghan Markle allegedly urging Harry to get a DNA test amid fears James Hewitt is his dad? Please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share with your own followers. 
And as always, subscribe to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan Markle, and Prince Harry right here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.